think we've seen attack services grow tremendously over the last couple of years, and this has been in a couple different ways, but a lot of it has been due to cloud. But what we have seen is that there's tremendously more that's being exposed directly on the internet, whereas I think if you looked back 10 or 15 years, you saw infrastructure, but a lot of it was behind a corporate firewall. It wasn't directly exposed. And I think the other thing that has changed is who can bring these objects online. Um, before, it used to be something where your IT team was involved if something was exposed on the internet. The security team knew about something because an exception had to be made. And the cloud has really flipped that. Today, anyone can bring up any object online, really regardless of what relationship they have with the IT team, with the security team. You as a security practitioner are responsible for everything that's happening at the company, and that's true about IT folks. This is true about maybe a contractor, about an acquisition, about something that someone you didn't even know existed in the company has brought something online. In almost all of those cases, you don't have access to the actual asset that has been exposed, that is vulnerable. Um, you're trying to convince someone to take care of a security problem, to patch something. In some cases, you may simply be trying to track down who even brought this asset online. You're charged with the security of something you really have no control over, and so you're really at a disadvantage, right? It's, tip it's very hard to get ahead of the problem, to be proactive when anyone in your organization can bring something online or pose a risk to your organization. Yeah.